Hi, Josh Miller, professional dog trainer. What we're gonna go over now is the off-leash walk. So we started with our loose leash walk. We taught the dog what it is that we needed to teach while on the leash. Now it's time to transition off-leash with the use of our remote trainer. It's very important that we've gone through the first step in teaching on leash, and now we can reinforce what we've taught the dog using our remote trainer off-leash. As we transition into our off-leash portion, what we're really trying to do is replicate what we've done and taught the dog on leash and get the same result while off leash using our remote trainer. As you use your remote trainer, think about it as if you had your leash. If the dog was getting up too far ahead and you'd make a correction with your leash, that's when you can use the simulation to deliver that same message with your remote trainer. When you're first starting out with this, you don't want to be in an area that is a high distraction level area. You want to keep it very focused between you and your dog. When you're using your remote trainer, the simulation level should be at what you found as your dog's recognition level, and then gradually work up as needed. As you start to add in distractions and different things that could get the dog excited, you may, and oftentimes will, have to move up from that recognition level to get the dog's focus back on you. For more training tips, make sure to check out our other videos. Thanks for watching.